Hi, I'm Leif Claesen, the creator of the Omnion 9, and uh, now I'm going to show you the undo technology. I, I believe this is actually the most important feature of the, uh, of the entire Omnion 9, because as you know, in radio, well, in the music industry, they've been in a loudness war with each other for the last 15 years. And the CDs, the music, uh, the music we're getting to play on our radio stations uh, gets more and more compressed and more and more dense, more and more distorted every year, to the point of uh, uh, to the point of listener fatigue, especially when we when we ap apply our own heavy processing. So for that reason, I invented Undo to finally solve the problem. Now I'd l I would like to show you how that works. Right now, we're looking at the oscilloscopes set up to show the left and right program input. This is not even the worst example I've ever seen, but it's pretty bad. It's clipping virtually the whole time. There's no dynamics whatsoever, because uh, in a dynamic song, you'd see the oscilloscope, you'd see there'd be peaks and valleys and some short-term dynamics and punch. This song is completely devoid of it. Uh, well, the song in particular is the Donna's Take It Off, but um, this is almost every song nowadays. Uh, this song's from 2003. So, to show how that, how that works, let's look at uh, these meters that I previously set up. Here we see the left channel before the, the as it comes in, before the declipper, and uh, the green line is the detected declipping threshold. This oscilloscope shows post af that's after the declipper. Uh, notice how it actually restores the peaks. It's not just a simple line interpolation such as just well drawing uh, drawing a smooth line from one end uh, one end to the next, uh, but in fact in fact it rebuilds all the detail based on what's in between the clipping areas. And this really removes the audible distortion and removes the crackling and makes it sound almost like it was properly mastered. However, that's not quite enough because in, in CD mastering, they don't, just, they don't just clip the bejesus out of the audio. First, they also compress it until there's virtually no dynamics left. Um, and for that, uh, we have Undo. It is a psychoacoustically controlled multiband unprocessor. It detects the amount of, of short-term dynamics and punch in the music, and if there isn't enough, it increases it by way of multiband expansion. Let's take a look at uh, the undo meters uh, in a minute. But first, well, here's the uh, CD input, and then uh, here's after the declipper, and finally here's after the declipper and undo. And you can see all of a sudden you can actually see the drum hits, the uh, the bigger wave that's a ki waves that's a kick drum, and the waves at about this frequency is the snare drum. All of a sudden, they're standing out, and uh, th there will be audio clips. Uh, th there are audio clips available uh, on omniaaudio.com/9 uh, for you to listen to the difference before and after. Here's the uh, the meters, and now I'm going to enlarge them by pulling down on the center divider. Here's the dynamics meter, and right now the song faded out, and here the song restarted. So they go up and down a little bit because they're continuously adjusting, uh, adjusting to the dynamic content of the music. Um, the first, uh, first bar here is, uh, it's a five band expander. So here's band one, that's the lowest, lowest frequency, it's the bass. Band two, three, four, and five. Band five is the treble for the left and right channel separately. The um, detected dynamics translates to an expansion ratio for each of the five band expanders for each channel. Here we're seeing the, um, uh, the actual thresholds uh, that the expanders are working on. So, uh, the thresholds uh, are driven by a peak detector at a fixed offset from the peak, current peak of each band. Uh, so if you set the, um, uh, if the expansion ratio is currently one to one, which would mean these meters will be all the way down, uh, nothing would be done to the music. So if you play something really dynamic and punchy, these will be closer to the bottom. However, when, when it detects something that's been really dense and uh, is really dense and has been smashed in mastering, these meters will go up and the expanders will start working. Uh, these meters, left and right, show exactly what, uh, the amount of declipping, uh, the peaks that are being restored, and here's the uh, actual expansion ratio, uh, the expansion gain for each of the five bands. Here's the input coming from the CD. You can see there are no peaks. It is slammed to the rails all the way through. 
Uh, here's after the declipper, a few more peaks, and then here's the, the uh, output of undo, which is what will get sent into the rest of the processor. Uh, and you can see that now it has plenty of punch and dynamics. All, the, um, all these controls are available, well, if we go back to home, there's primary program and undo for FM. There's separate undo for each of the output. For example, here's FM, here's for the digital output. Um, if we look at FM, here are just some of the controls that are available for the dynamic detector, amount of look-ahead delay, integration time for each band, and then here's, here's the controls that affect how the uh, dynamic detection translates to, um, translates to expansion ratio. For example, starting points and the 4 to 1 points for, uh, for each frequency band. And that is a brief introduction to the undo technology. And, um, uh, and uh, please, uh, if you could, uh, uh, please make sure to watch some of the, uh, some of the other videos showing some of the other great features of the Omni and I.